Hi girls, it's Jamie. I hope everybody's having a good morning, afternoon, evening, night, whenever you're watching this video. <sighs> girls, if you ever had vertigo, I'm sorry. That stuff is horrible. But anyway, I'm going to get started on my 2022 planner lineup. Yeah, there's there's quite a few here, but I'm going to try to get through this, and I'm going to explain to you all which ones I decided to do. So I'm going to get me a drink of donut shop, and we'll get started. So first up is the plan to save. Let me slide these out of the way. There's like glitter. This one, I decided just to give it a try. Uh, it's for my financial journal. This to help me see where I make adjustments, uh, record failures, record successes. And if y'all, you probably already seen, seen these but I thought it was really cute. Uh, something to start with to see where I can, you know, right here it says, what can I do to adjust and save? Or what event or circumstance is coming up this week where I know I'll need to spend money? And then you have your things I want, things I need, where can I make cuts this week when necessary? And then you have your no spin challenge down here. So I figured I would just try this out to see how it would work and uh, record where my finances go and I can read and see if I can't figure it out to readjust this stuff. So I'm going to try this one. And then the next one is going to be the Dream Big Journal. It's the Horizontal Happy Planner. And what I'm planning on doing with this one is everyday journaling to keep a record of my mood, my mental health, uh, my overall health, if I'm having any kind of issues. You know, I can have it all wrote down. And when I go to my next doctor's appointment, I can say, hey, these were the days that were challenging. These are the days that, uh, you know, I had dizzy spells. I, uh, my blood pressure was up or just an overall, I guess, health journal. So that's the plan for this one. The Mickey and Minnie. As you all know, I love Mickey Mouse. This one I'm going to use for work. Um, I can do um, my daily tip amounts, my paydays amounts, uh, the days I need to schedule off, the days I'm off, shift changes, call ins. Uh, you know, I may even schedule YouTube content or, you know, what videos I want to do that day when I'm going to put them out. Uh, so more or less, yeah, just plan each day of if I'm work, if I am have a day off, how many tips, you know, I got or did something special happen that day or so what? I just want this one to be just dedicated for work because I do work from home. I have to schedule. I'm so bad. If I do not schedule time to work at home, it don't get done. So, and overlook my nails. I do need to have them redone, but it is what it is. I just don't feel like fooling with them right now. So, the big happy planner this one will be the catch-all for everything. It may be repetitive. Uh, it may have 
see, this is like a catch-all. What I need to save, this is my savings. My three to six month savings, the year savings for the emergency fund. It's rolled out, it's in here. I can look at it, I can say, hey, I need this amount of money. I need to work this amount of hours. I need to pick up more shifts. When I get to the goal that I'm at, then maybe I can slow down a little bit, but this right here is just a reminder of why I want to work so hard. And like I said, it's just a catch-all for everything right now, different challenges. I just put them in here and go. Uh, important days, car tags, birthdays, you know, I've not got them all rolled in yet, but give me an idea when I need to get stuff done. I was going to do this for a financial planner, but I changed my mind on how I wanted to do stuff. And this one, see, you got, I got a bill here, I got to pay my payday, you know, Happy New Year's. This one is a catch-all for everything. I got home, work, and content ideals for YouTube. Reminders, Fridays, Remind, you know, remember zero out challenge and change balance. So this is the plan for this one. Uh, the catch all of everything. So hopefully I can get it done and I'll have my financial cuts where I need to cut them by recording what I've done that day, what I spent that day, where I spent it. Uh, just I'm trying to get 2022 better organized and get us in a better place. So my next one is my budget, the bill binder, or the bill book, as I call it, the bill book. It is the Erin Condren Deluxe Monthly. And I'll show you what I've done so far. I've just got January through June right now planned out. If I make extra payments on anything, I'm going to write them here of what I made extra on, where it went to, what it is, you know, extra house, extra car payment, more money applied to the principal of the house, an extra credit card payment, anything like that. I want recorded in these. And then over here, I put my 2022 goals of what I want to do. And of course, you can see it probably is a little funny to some of you all, but this is my, my goals. The first one is spend more time with family, call more, visit more. The second one is work on emergency funds, save 6000 this year. Third one is pay down mortgage. Send extra each month. My fourth one is clean up around the house, clean out the garages, and get rid of the extra firewood, fix the flower beds, throw away junk, sell stuff. If I got stuff out there, it needs to be sold to get it out of here. My fifth one is be more productive, work on your health, make cleaning fun, because Lord knows I hate to clean, declutter all the rooms, and be happy. You just have to be happy with life. And then my little note down here for myself. Remember, you're not a failure if you don't reach a goal. You work too hard to reach it. Keep going. It will happen in time. It's okay. So, that is my five goals for 2022. And then I'll flip over here and show you the breakdown of what I've not really figured this out here. I might just put my balances of what... Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. But anyway, on this page, I thought maybe I could bring over December's balances of the sinking funds, uh, my savings challenges, and uh where some of the most of the money went, you know, like if I had a major breakdown or something, you know, hey, I'd take this money here, put it over here, pay this, 
girls, I don't know about you, but sometimes life throws Fruit Loops and Cheerios, you know, and things go crazy, and you have to pull money from here, there, and yonder. Just be grateful you had that money and you didn't have to go bury it or had to go put it on a credit card. That's what I'm grateful for. So if you have to reset, redo, and start over, it's okay. It's life. It happens. This page right here, I have no idea what to do with. I have no idea. It's just there. So the next page, I broke down the bills, wrote them all down, what gets paid, what's left over, the cushion amount, amounts for savings. Over here, I put in a uh, expense tracker, the date. I'm trying to get better at tracking because Lord knows I don't track nothing and I have to keep check on balances every day. Which is not a bad thing, but it is a bad thing, especially if you don't track what you spend. This one right here will be the breakdown of my paydays. Paycheck one, if I got any bills due, what are they? Uh, the savings challenges that I want to do for that day. Sinking funds, the grandkids, daily tip challenge, you know, the monthly balance of January, write down what I had for January. My zero out and my end of the month change balance. And I just broke this down for the first two paychecks to see if I can actually get it done and do it. And then that's the plan for the rest of, you know, this one. This is going to be uh, the financial binder, I guess is what you would call it bill binder, bill book, whatever. This page right here is going to be a brain dump because Lord knows I got a lot of crap in my brain that I need to get down. So I figured I'd just, the end of January, write down my successes, my failures, where I need help at, you know, just like my financial journal, I could go back, look over it, and then make this the main, the main thing, write it down. Hey, you need to quit shopping Etsy, which I don't think is never going to happen, but I might need to cut the budget on that. Or stay away from Amazon. Uh, Amazon and Etsy are my two biggest ones because I don't like going out to stores. I don't like shopping in stores. Just too many crazy people out there nowadays. So that's the, the lineup for for this year and hopefully I can get myself together and remember life doesn't make you you make your life that's the best saying I've ever heard and I live by this since I've I heard it so that is that girls and hopefully I will be able to get through this and keep a record of everything. Uh, I have great ideals. Now, if I can just get the great ideals into these to help me see where my life is at, where my finances are, you know, my mental health. Mental health is a, if you suffer through depression and anxiety, you guys know that it's very important to make sure that you're on top of it. These last couple of weeks has been really hard. Uh, my mom and dad are both gone. Holidays are coming up. You know, my mom loved Christmas. My dad's not here, you know, to wrap the presents because my daddy could wrap some great presents. Mine looks like you just watered it up and taped it. But, you know, it's little small memories that, that come back to you. So, you know, your mental health is really important. And tracking it that way you can talk to your doctor about it to get the help that you need is so very important uh, yeah it's it's really important and girls that's it for this adventure of my journey of trying to figure out what I want to be when I grow up in life <laughs> 
But anyway, girls, I hope y'all have a wonderful day. I am feeling some better. I still get a little dizzy every now and then. I have to watch bending over or getting up really fast because, Lord, vertigo is, it's bad. <laughs> I never in my life thought that fluid on your ear canal, in your ear canal could cause so much chaos, but when I woke up Sunday morning and the whole world was spinning off its axis, I was like, oh God, what is this? <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's, a, it's an experience, y'all, and uh, thank you all for the prayers and for saying I hope you feel better and, you know, get well soon. I really appreciate it. And girls, you all have a wonderful day. Sorry about the lighting. I know you can see the shadows, but it's kind of, it's sunshiny outside, but it's just not hit the right part of the house yet for it to uh, give me good artificial lighting. So with that said, girls, have a good day. Thank you for stopping by. Please like, subscribe, share, hit the notification bells. It will let you know when I upload a new video, which could be me ranting about people at work, people who drive, financial, uh, oh my goodness, what is that? Financial failures or whatever. And if I don't see you all, y'all have a Merry Christmas and we'll see you in the next video. Bye girls. Oh, and boys. <laughs>